You know those really dreamy backgrounds, those photos that you see where it's really, really blurry and it just looks really, really dreamy, especially with kids? Well, today I'm going to show you a simple way to do that. So let's get into it. Will Simpson here. Welcome back to Exploring Photography. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to take your portraits of either of whoever really, and turn them into those really, really dreamy photos. Now there are tons and tons of ways to do this. I'm just gonna show you a quick way that I know how to do it. Um, this is going to be a Photoshop tutorial. And if you're not too familiar with Photoshop, you should be able to follow along. But I have two other videos, which I will link in the description of this video um, on basics and stuff like that, if you wanna go watch those afterwards, but you should be okay. So without further ado, let's get into Lightroom. Okay, so we're gonna turn this photo here into this photo. And it's actually really quick. So here we go. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to reset my adjustments, because uh, <laughs> I've already done this. And we're just going to make a few tweaks, we're going to lower the highlights a little get some more details back, we're going to raise the shadows. Notice how it's really hazy, it was really hazy at the beach. Uh, we're going to raise the exposure just a shade. And let's see, how's our white point, our white point is crazy. So we're going to lower that. And we're going to get our black point here right there we don't want too much black because we're going to do a lot of tweaks in photoshop so here's the before here's the after super quick then we're going to right click on the photo edit in and photoshop and this takes a minute but once we are in photoshop a couple of things we're going to do first first we're going to take the background select it press command or control j this is going to make a copy of your layer then we're going to first get rid of the hand and so we are going to zoom in here, pressing Z on the keyboard, uh, that gives you your zoom feature, click and drag right, will zoom us in. So then we're gonna press W on the keyboard for the quick selection tool and try and select the hand without getting the flower. Okay, good, press the L for the lasso tool and we're gonna push and hold Alt or Option. I'm using a Mac, so I'll be Option. If you're a PC, and then it will be Alt. So we're going to See how you have a minus sign. We're going to trace out this part of this section. Now there are again, lots of ways to do this. This is just the way that I found works for me. Um, you could probably use the quick selection tool, press or hold alter option and then click in there and see if that works. That worked. oh shoot, zoomed right out. That worked actually pretty good. So click that and then we're gonna make this brush smaller. Good. And then add that back in. I just find the lasso tool is really, really specific and really, really accurate when I do this because I kind of control it a little bit more. Okay. Good. Now, once you've made your selection of the hand, let's zoom in here and let's get rid. We want to keep the flower, so we want to take it out of the selection the best we can. Da, da, da. Doesn't have to be super perfect, but that looks pretty good. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go up here and we're going to go to uh, edit and content aware fill and see if this does the job for us. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Here it doesn't really look like it's doing it for us. So we're gonna erase this part because we don't want it to select from the girl, uh, just the background. And if we have to, we will use clone stamp to do this. Let's see if that works. Good, that worked actually a little bit better. So let's press okay. Good, we're gonna zoom in here and we're going to fix it, deselect it. And we're gonna stamp here and just, it actually didn't do a good job at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not one bit, but that's okay. Remember, we're gonna blur this whole area out so it does not have to be perfect. So I'm gonna speed this up real quick, get us through this part, because this is just kind of like playing with everything and getting it right. It's just, it's the art part.
okay, good. Now hopefully your image doesn't have that that needs to be removed, but if it does, it's not too terribly hard. Okay, good. Now, once we've done that, let's go ahead and do a few little touch-ups here. We're gonna clean up this little scratch on her face. Um, anything, any blemishes, we're gonna take this little highlight out. I don't mind that, but... I good, okay, so once that's done, the next step is we're going to merge these two layers. That way we don't um, have that selection over here because if we can turn it off and then our hand's there, we don't want our hand there. So select these two layers and go to merge layers, wherever it is, there it is. Beautiful. Okay, next step is you're going to press Command and Control J to create a copy of this layer. Then we're gonna select our subject. So with the layer selected, there's several different ways you can do this. With the quick select tool, press W on the keyboard. You'll notice it just says select subject up top. So we're gonna select that and it does a pretty good job of selecting your subject. But one thing we're gonna to have to do is refine this by selecting our flower. So we'll press the lasso tool, press shift to create the plus sign. And then we're just going to draw around the flower here and get this whole thing in the selection. Because we definitely want the flower to be in focus. And if we don't do this, we will not have the flower in focus. Good, we'll use this alt or option to subtract that part. Shift to add that part. Shift to add this part and this part. Good, and then go over your selection of your subject and select what sections did not get added. And again, it doesn't have to be super perfect because, I mean, you can be as perfect as you want. You can spend hours or seconds on this. It is totally up to you. Uh, on the hair, I generally take off all of this random flyaway stuff just because it's unnecessary. This, add it so it doesn't just look so jumbled all of this just take all this out cleans it up a little bit no real reason uh, these sections here take this out good that was a terrible job of that jeez that's what i get for going fast good okay that's probably good enough okay once that's done click the mask button this will create a mask of your subject once we have our selection or our mask done Click the command button and press select. This is gonna give you the selection of the girl. Then select the layer below it, go up to select, go to modify and expand. Then based on your image, you can kind of pick, we're gonna go with 25 pixels and press okay, just to give a little bit larger selection around the girl. Then we're gonna go up to edit and content aware fill. What this is going to do is replace her and kind of, well, remove her from the image. Now that's good enough. So we'll press okay. We're gonna correct it now. So then we're going to turn off once it's done. It takes a minute. We're gonna turn off the top layer and we're gonna press command D to deselect. And then we're just gonna kind of fill in this spot. So just kind of select here and just kind of clean up the, the selection that didn't get made, right? So here, we again, this can be really rough. It does not have to be perfect because it's all gonna disappear. Good, and then let's do this. Let's get the sand back. We do want this to be kind of good because that's where she, you know, that's what's gonna be in focus. So we definitely want that part, but that is looking pretty good. Okay, good, done. Now, next thing, turn this layer back on. Now that we have everything done, we're gonna select the, the new copy of the, the content aware fill, select the copy and merge these layers again. That way they're now one layer. So now that we have, we're gonna name this layer, the background layer, blur layer. Get some organization in here, not blue layer, blur layer. Okay, good. With the blur layer selected, go up to filter, blur gallery and tilt shift blur. What this does is this kind of allows you to blur it and then fade it out. So in this case, the blur starts here and it goes down to this line and then it's really blurry and then there's no blur and then the blur starts again and then there's no blur. So watch, if we add blur, you'll notice that this part, let's move, let's move this down. You see how the blur disappears? So we're actually gonna move this down to where she's kind of standing but a little bit lower. So just like this part is in focus. 
and then we're gonna add the blur. Now it depends on your style, how, how blurry do you wanna get? Do you wanna go full blur, which kinda looks no good? You still want some details there. So I'm thinking if we go to like 100, let's see. That doesn't seem blurry enough. Uh, let's go to 191, perfect, there we go. And then we're gonna raise this up. Once you have the blur to where you want it, just go ahead and press okay. And now we've added our blur. Now the next step is to kind of add the, the style, the flair to it, because this is, you want it to have like a little bit of a warm look, kind of a dreamy look. Well, the blur did part of it. Now we get into the, the style of it. And this is where you can get really creative and you can kind of do your own thing. I'm just gonna do kind of like a warm faded out feel, which looks really, really good in photos like this. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to click up top here, we're going to create a new layer, and then we're going to create a, uh, a sunburst, kind of like a flare in the background. So first, what we're gonna do is press I on the keyboard. It's gonna give us a sample tool, and we're gonna sample kind of the orange right here, get that color, and we're going to press Command C and copy this color right here. Good, then we are going to click this gradient tool, we're gonna go up here and make sure that your radial gradient is selected, not your linear gradient. Click the gradient here and it'll open this panel where you can customize it. You wanna make, you wanna click this little square here and this color and then paste the color that you wanted. Now you can adjust it as needed. So this is the hue, saturation and brightness. So you can adjust those different. If we wanted to make this a little bit more saturated, we just drag this up and we get a little bit more saturated. Press okay. Good, that's what we wanted, and press OK. Now, what we're gonna do is click and drag. The longer you drag the, oh. And then make sure that radial is selected again. Click where you want the gradient, and we're gonna add it right here. So we're gonna drag this, and we're gonna drag it all the way there. And this gives us our radial gradient. Command or Control T, and we'll actually make it bigger. Good, and we're gonna move it down, just like that. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna go change the blend mode and we're gonna change it to either hard light or soft light, whichever one works better. So hard light, I think looks really nice. And then we're gonna lower the opacity to about 30%. Perfect, good. So here's the before, here's the after. It just adds a nice warm glow to the entire image. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is brighten up our subject. So we're gonna create a curves adjustment and watching the subject, we're just gonna click on the curves and just kind of get her to where we like it. I think that looks good right there. So then we're going to click on this mask, press option and drag it up. Replace layer mask, yes. And this should just affect her. Perfect, that looks awesome. And actually it's a little too bright. So what we'll do is just lower the opacity to about 60%, beautiful. Next thing, since we're looking pretty good is we're just gonna add that faded look. So you're gonna come up here to exposure. Now be very, very, gentle with this, you're gonna to go to the offset. If you raise the offset, you see it just makes it look yeah, terrible. So we're just gonna literally raise it um, to about one, 128, just a shade. And then the exposure will lower just a bit. And the gamma correction, we're gonna raise it just to about 104. I mean, just a little. So here's the before, here's the after. But you can see it's, you can see it's really nice. So before, after, just gives that kind of faded, dreamy look that everyone loves. Okay, good, close that, and then Command Zero. So here's the before, here's the after. It's really subtle, but it looks so freaking good. And at this point, you can get super creative if you want. You can add a vignette, you can do all kinds of things. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Shift, Command, Option, E. Okay, this is going to make me a brand new layer of the entire image. Then I'm going to create a mask, drag this onto it. Yes, replace layer mask, good. And then I'm gonna invert this. So this is going to give me a layer, but it's just affecting the background. So then I'm gonna come in to filter, noise, add noise. Move over to the background. And we're gonna match the noise to what we see on her skin. So here we go. So you see how it's noisy. So we're gonna add, oh God, way too much. <laughs> Uniform, there we go, good. Let's go to zero and then just up it 
until we match. There we go. That's a little bit. Okay, so let's let's do 50%. Nope. Let's do 0 0.50. Good. Press OK. OK, good. And we'll zoom in here. And we'll see. Oh, geez. We zoom in here. Let's see. We now have a little bit of noise there. Much better. So that matches a little bit better. Okay, good. And at this point, we're going to go back into Lightroom. So Command S to save. Now it's a big file, so it might take a while. Okay, now we're back in Lightroom. So we're going to do the finishing touches. Uh, at this point, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. So the final touches, we're just going to warm it up a little bit more. Add some magenta. Beautiful. Going to lower the contrast a little. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of clarity in there and then we're going to come down here and we're actually going to add a little bit more grain in the effects tab. Then it really blends together. If you look here, you see it really blends good. And let's add a somewhat of a little vignette. So we'll do the brush. And again, you can do a lot of this in Photoshop if you wanted, but why not do it in Lightroom where I am more proficient. <laughs> Good. add a little bit of that there and voila there you have it here is the before and here is the after this is a super easy and quick technique to make your photos pop and give it that dreamy blur look obviously your photos will look a little bit different but this technique will work on all of them so if you have any questions you know where the comment section is and uh, yeah that's it for this video see you next week